purchase for many people is buying a car. So it's why you don't want to get stuck with something that will give you problems down the road. Pat Ford has word on a new campaign to protect car buyers on Consumer Alert. Pat. That's right, it's right in Ken. Thank you. Many people find buying a car to be a nerve-wracking experience. You want to get a great deal, but you don't want to end up with a rebuilt wreck. It's why a new campaign has been launched to give car buyers helpful information before they start kicking tires. At the auto show place, another car is being readied for sale. Here, vehicles are sold certified, and the advertised price is the price you pay. It's not like that at all dealerships, which is why the Ontario Motor Vehicle Industry Council is launching a new program called The Road to Buying a Car in Ontario. It's meant to provide important tips and information to avoid the pitfalls and detours that are often associated with buying a car, whether it's from a dealer or privately. There is useful information, especially for new Canadians or first-time car buyers. Everything from getting vehicle history reports, having a mechanic check a car if it's a private sale, and watching out for curbsiders, people selling cars who are illegal, unlicensed dealers. Very often, the vehicles they sell are, are, are rebuilt wrecks or have uh, tampered odometers. Their number one source of inventory is salvage auctions. Terry O'Keefe recommends you buy from an OMVIC registered dealer so you will have added protection and access to a compensation fund in case there's a problem. In Ontario, there is a 10 day cooling off period if you sign a contract at your door in case you change your mind. So many people think there's a cooling off period when you buy a car, but there isn't. So never sign a contract unless you're sure you want to buy the vehicle. There is no cooling off period, period, when you're buying a car. When you sign that contract, unless there's conditions in it, it's a binding legal agreement. And it's important that consumers know that. When advertising, dealers are now required to use all-in pricing. The advertised amount should be the total price plus taxes and licensing and not a dollar more. It's meant to provide transparency to consumers and to create a level playing field for all dealers. If you're planning to buy a car, it's information you should review. You'll find it on OMVIC's website. And a survey found 21% of consumers would buy a car privately if they could save $1 to $2,000. There are good private deals out there, but OMVIC says be careful to make sure the car is in good shape and actually belongs to the person selling it. On your side, I'm Pat Foran.